Good morning. It's Thursday, June the 11th, and I have just walked out of Fondren Library here at Rice University, and we're going to stroll around the academic quad, which we're sort of looking at right now. Outside of Fondren, we have a number of cloisters, and the sunlight is um, just almost perfect to set these things off. So here we go. We're going to uh, walk outside in the sunlight. Since this is mid-June, people that have lived in Houston for some time or have visited Houston over the years during June know that it's hot, but it will get hotter as time goes on. And it's difficult maybe to get a good uh, meter reading while we're out here in the middle of the quad. So we're going to walk a little bit faster and then maybe head over to Hurstein, which is to my right. Excuse me, right now we're, it's to my right as I'm looking north. So here we are, we're looking at Fondren, and I swing around to Anderson Hall, which is the architecture building. And as I said, we're heading over to Hurstein, which is the physics building. I'd like to do this periscope again with better light because right now it's just a bit too bright even though now the sun is behind a, a, a cloud. As we come up to Willie's statue, very famous statue, a very famous person here at Rice with a bird on top of his head, which is an unusual. William Marsh Rice, campus is named after this man. Now that is a uh, screenshot that you should get with the bird. That was all right. Over here is Razor Hall which is the language building. And the building, the tall building, is um, associated with the Texas Medical Center, which we're adjacent to. Over here, the tower is Pittman Tower, which is in the courtyard of the uh, Humanities Building. And over here, what we're looking at is Sewell Hall. Years ago, I was listening to a radio broadcast and the fella pronounced it as seawall. Well, it's not seawall, it's Sewell. And of course, in front of us is Lovett Hall and the Sally Port, which we'll look at here in a few moments. As I turn to my left, we are looking at the area that will become the uh, if we walk down that park, it would become the um, engineering quad. And we'll do that again some other time. Summer school is in session. And so there's some people that are walking around, uh, waiting, whatever. This used to be called just simply the physics building, but now it's Hurstein Hall. And it has cloisters. I'm not a perfectionist for definitions. Lovett has 
true colonnades because there's a column associated with it. So over here we don't have a actual column, we have kind of a uh, rectangular column. So where's the pure colonnade? It's over it. Love it. Hurstine Hall. I have been around Rice since I got married, and that's been a number of years ago, and I rarely if ever go into any of the uh, buildings that we're looking at right now, except invited. It's okay to uh, walk around parts of campus that uh, are more public than others. Like I would never walk over into the uh, uh, college area because that's, that's really a private area for the students. They don't need any outsiders even though I may not be an outsider. I just don't go there. Again, love it all. The architecture here is just simply incredible. And now we're walking east. This is such a beautiful campus, but the students that are here for four years don't have time to enjoy it because they're just so overloaded with their studies. Take a brief detour right now and look at Founders Court. And if we go down to Founders Court, on the other side of Founders Court is the drive that uh, entrance number one that'll take us to South Main. There's utility vehicles walk, uh, driving around here all the time, and here comes a student, uh, one of the student buses that go around the inner loop often. Nice transportation. I've ridden them over the years. And over here, here comes one of the campus police officers. Uh, the trees here are just simply gorgeous. Uh, I don't need to tell you that. You can see that uh, now. But let's go back out. Uh, we'll go this way to uh, the Sally Port. We're at the front of uh, Lovett Hall. And continuing. Southeast. The different light tones are just amazing around here on a day like this. If you want to, you can go to my website at gigapan.com and just search for four letters, R-I-C-E-U, and once you're there, click on most popular, it's found on the upper left. I have about 240 gigapans that I've taken over the years. And this periscope situation is a new um, activity for me. It's nice, but nothing like a gigapan. Here's the Sally Port. Very famous here at Rice. Lots of tradition here. So here is a better view 
where we aren't blinded by the sunlight, of Sewell Hall, the Pittman Tower and Razor Hall, Fondren Library, Anderson Hall, Hurstein Hall. Here is a sort of a uh, colonnade, again without any circular columns, but this is a, this is a definition or an example of a colonnade. There's a twin colonnade over here. If watching this video inspires you to find out more about the architecture here at Rice, where you can do so by buying a book that explains everything to you. Isn't this just beautiful? During the summer it's so quiet, peaceful. Between classes it's sort of a madhouse, but there aren't very many students here at Rice. It's pretty hard to get in. I've been here for like 40 years. My wife goes to the library quite often, like once a week. When she was in school, she had a double major and was required to read four books a week. Well, she did that, and she's continued that experience over all this time that we've been married. So again, I come by here often. This area is great for uh, celebrations, whatever. I wish they did away with the uh, bike racks and put them in a more discreet area. Maybe this is discreet enough, but uh, having a bike on campus has its pluses and its minuses because so many students walk on the pathways without using a bike. And the ones that do have a bike, they want to uh, maximize their space on the walkways and it gets a little dangerous at times. Sewell Hall is the uh, location for the University Art Gallery. Boom! This is it. Now as I continue, I want to uh, mention one other thing that's really pressing on my mind is that there are people that have spectacular periscopes. The fella in Hong Kong who walks down from the peak every morning, who now is in the States for a month, his uh, uh, comments and his uh, views of uh, Hong Kong are extraordinary. And then there are three people in Paris that are doing Periscope. And the one that I thoroughly enjoy the most is Claire Waddington, W-A-D-D-I-N-G-T-O-N. And if you're doing Periscoping, you should watch her Periscopes to get an example of how to do it. And right now, this is only a practice on my part. I'm not the witty chatter that she is, nor do I have the voice that she has. And she is a very wonderful woman, and uh, it's just amazing to me 
that I can watch her walk around Paris day after day and see all these sights that I had seen when I was there for two weeks. Anyway, we go back over here where there's some sunlight. This is the utility area and the back side of Sula Hall. Now this is where the back bike rack should be instead of up out there in the front. There's not that much car traffic. Over here to my left is where the colleges are. And again, I don't go over there, except maybe uh, going this way, going down this area to the uh, medical center, the Texas Medical Center. And off in the distance, there's a colonnade. My wife says that it's a uh, fake colonnade, a folly. And again, Pittman Tower, let's walk up here to get a nice view of the colonnade and Pittman Tower. Again, I highly recommend going to GigaPan and searching for my GigaPans. All you have to do is just search for Rice U, and click uh, Most Popular, and go down the list. Just gorgeous. The backside of Razor Hall. Now, continuing on with uh, comments I made about the fellow in uh, Hong Kong and the three people in Paris. And I'm not sure of anybody in London. I haven't found anybody that's uh, really on top of everything for London, but hopefully that'll occur. But there are not that many vistas here in Houston that are worthy of a periscope. And that's the reason, the main reason, well, not really the main reason, but one of the reasons that I have so many gigapans from Rice is that I enjoyed thoroughly spending time here on campus because it's a safe environment. And there's so many beautiful vistas. Let's go over here to Willie again. But if I want to drive 30 or 40 miles from here, I might find something that might be worthy of a gigapan, a large panorama. Look at him. He's looking right at us as we approach him. But with Rice, there's so many vistas that one can't keep from taking an excellent photo each time they point their camera at anything. Shortly we'll be ending this and what I'm going to do is bear to my left towards the Pittman Tower and the Humanities Building and then go behind Pondron Library and see Brockstein Pavilion, which is a very, very nice meeting area, lunch area, dinner area for anybody that wants a meal here on campus. Just stunning. Stunning views for the first time visitor, and I've been here 40 years, and they're still stunning to me. So again, we're walking towards the medical center.
towards the east. We're going to make a right hand turn up here in a moment. See, these bike racks used to be out here in the front, and it was really an eyesore. I don't know how old this tree is, but the branches are just uh, marvelous. When they put up the Humanities Building, which we're looking at right now, I was afraid that they were going to cut the tree down. Very alarmed at that. And I raised my voice a little bit too loud to make sure that it didn't happen. After I review this periscope, I'll improve my speaking if that is possible. But again, I can't even come close to what Claire's talent is. Extraordinary lady. When I take my gigapans here on campus, sadly it's not during the summer because I never get a blue sky day here in Houston during the summer. There's always broken clouds and so if I'm taking a gigapan with, say, 900 photos that I stitch, well, if it's not a blue sky day, you get so many different light variations in your photos, photos that are, uh, uh, even though you have everything set on manual, well, that's, that's the problem, but you've got to have it set on manual. If, if it's not set on manual, the uh, uh, gigapan looks funky. Anyway, more bike racks. I met an Asian lady a number of years ago that was very, very nice. And she had a pink bicycle. Well, I always saw the pink bicycle, but I never saw her again. Well, she was from China or Hong Kong, so I'm sure what she did is that she sold her bicycle to someone that was going to still stay here at Rice to use it. And it's been handed down and handed down for uh, uh, many uh, years. So here we are at Brockstein, really an architectural marvel. Let's go over here to the front of Brockstein. And look down the way to Shepherd School of Music and Alice Pratt Brown Hall and perhaps see the fountain in the courtyard at Baker Institute. As you can see faintly down there on another periscope, we'll go down that way too. And there's the Rice Memorial Chapel area. It's where we got married. Lots of memories here on campus, and I didn't even go to any of the classes, except for one. There is a professor who may still be active, but he's very famous, and his name was Jeff Winningham. And Jeff, at that time, when I took his photography class and developing class, uh, he taught it. Uh, now they don't have uh, him anymore doing that because... Uh, he's so famous that they leave that chore to uh, other uh, teachers 
he wasn't a teacher, he was a professor. Uh, extraordinary uh, person too. So go to Amazon and look for books by Jeff. And that's G E O F F Winningham. W I N N I N G H A M. So again, we're gonna come around over here to uh, the north side of. Rockstein. Before we go over here to the library. Well, for the one or two people that joined me during this, I appreciate your presence. And I hopefully have saved this properly to uh, my camera roll. And so, um, if you look later on Google for YouTube, Rice University, Periscope, Academic Quad, uh, you should find the video. So that's Rockstein. Pavilion and uh, the reflecting pool. And it's uh, very uh, peaceful on either side. Again, thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time, maybe.